Hello Year 3, this is today's maths lesson for the 19th of May. We're going to look at equivalent fractions today. Now equivalent means the same. So we're looking at fractions that might have a different um, numerator and denominator, but they mean the same thing, they're equal. Okay, so I've got my potato here. I haven't gone bonkers. I'm not about to make my dinner. I'm just using this to show you. So at the moment, I've got a whole potato. If I chop it here, right down the middle, what fraction would I be chopping it into? I wonder if you know. Let me chop it and we'll look at the parts. So I've chopped it right down the middle. So I've got two equal parts. That would be my denominator. I've got two equal parts, but this is just one of the equal parts. So we'd call this one half. I'm sure you already knew that. So I've dropped, chopped my potato, sorry, in half. Now what I'm going to do to this half of my potato is I'm going to halve it again. So I'm going to halve the half of the potato. And when I do that, I make an equivalent fraction. I'm going to do the same with the other half now. I'm going to half the half. Now, instead of two equal parts, I've now got four equal parts. So that will become the denominator. And if I was just looking at this one, that would be one of the four equal parts, so that's a quarter, but I've actually chopped it into four quarters. Now, potatoes are good because if I go like this and put these back together, it stays together. That's why I use a potato. So, we've got an equivalent fraction here. This half is the same as two of these, two quarters. So, one half here is the same as two quarters. And we can write that as a number sentence like this. One half, this one, is equal to two quarters, two of the four quarters that I cut up. So one half, is equivalent, is equal to, is the same as two quarters. And we'd write it like this. One half is equal to two quarters. So that's an equivalent fraction there with my potato. If you're allowed to, you could have a go of a potato at home, just so you can make one, because potatoes are magical. They kind of stick back together. But if you can't, don't worry. We're going to move on to some equivalent fractions on my whiteboard now. And we're going to do that using more of our bar models. Now, we have done this at school before, so you might be quite confident with it, and that's absolutely fine. So I'm going to draw a bar model here for you. This is the whole amount here, and this is showing you a fraction. I'm going to colour one of the sections in. Can you remember your work from yesterday? Is it helping you? What fraction have I coloured in there? That's the first thing we need to work out. What fraction have I got? Well, there's three equal pieces, so that will be my denominator. And how many parts are we looking at? We're looking at one. So that becomes one third. We call this one third. I'm going to draw another bar model underneath now. And I'm trying to keep them nearly the same if I can. Okay, so what have I split this bar model into? Let's count the equal parts. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that becomes my denominator. So I've split it into six. I wonder if you can work out how many sixths would be equal to a third? How many of these would I need to colour in to make it the equal amount to, to the third? Can you think? See if you can tell me now. Oh, I heard some answers. If I colour in one, that's not equal to that third there. It's not the same size. 
but if I colour in another one, it is equal. So one third is actually the same as one two out of the six, two sixths. And we'd write that as a number sentence like this. One third is equal to two sixths. One third is equal to two sixths. I wonder how you got on with that one. Let's try another one. I'm going to rub that one out. I'm going to draw two bar models again. Whilst I'm drawing the next one, have a look at this one. Can you work out what I've split my bottom bar into? What fraction would that be? Just while I'm drawing this one. Fabulous, how did you get on? So what fraction is this bar showing? How many equal parts are there? There's four, so that would be the denominator. Here we've got some quarters. I'm going to colour some in. Now I can't colour them in properly, it's tricky with whiteboard pens, so I'm just doing this crisscrossy effect on them so you can see how many I'm colouring in. So I've got four parts in total. How many of the parts are we looking at? We're looking at three of the parts, so we've got three quarters. Now have a look at this one. Let's try and work out our denominator first. How many pits have we got in total? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight equal parts. We'd call that eighths. Now have a look at the two bar models. We're comparing them to try and find the equivalent. Can you work out how many of these chunks of eights I'd need to colour in to get the equal amount, the same amount. I'm just putting my pen on there to line it up for you, okay? How many would we need to colour in to show the equivalent, the same amount? Well, let's colour in this one. That's not equal, so that's not an equivalent fraction. Still not equal. Still not equal. What do we think? How many more? Yes, I've got it. In fact, let me use my chopping board to cover it up. So they're now equivalent. Okay, They might have a different denominator and a different numerator, but they're showing the same equal amount of the bar model. So how many of these eights have I coloured in? One two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so they're equivalent, they're equal. How would I write that down? I'd write three quarters is equal to, the same as, equivalent to, six eighths. Brilliant. Right, going to have a go at another one. This time I'm going to draw two bar models and then I'm going to pause it. Well, I want you to pause it and I want you to see if you can write down your own equivalent fraction by thinking about which ones you'd colour in. Okay. Okay, so when I say three, two, one, pause, your job is to work out what fraction this is in the first place. What would your denominator be by looking at the parts that we're, we've got in total? And again for this one, so look at the parts that we've got in total. What would your denominator of your fraction be? 
Then I want you to think about what equivalent fractions you could find between these two bar models, okay? Three, two, one, pause. Right, let's see what you came up with. There's different ones that we could do. So if I colour in this one, what fraction have I got here? Well, I've coloured in one out of the one, two, three, four, five equal parts. So I've got one out of five, a fifth, one fifth coloured in. We've got five parts in total, so that's the denominator, and only one of them's coloured in. So how would I show that on this bar model? How many chunks do I need to colour in? They're not equal. Now they're equal. So one fifth is the same as, well, what have I got here? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of the bar model all together. So 10 parts, that becomes the denominator. And how many parts are coloured in? One, two. So I can see from this at the moment that one fifth is equal to two tenths. But we can show some other equivalent fractions using the same bar model. How about if I colour in that one and that one? Oh, can you see how many of these I'm going to have to colour in too? We want them to match. We want them to be the same equivalent. So see if you can work out. I've got five chunks all together. What fraction is shown here if three of them are coloured in? You got it. Three fifths. Then down here, we've still got tenths. I haven't changed the total. The total pieces of the bar model that we've got at the bottom. But I have changed how many that I've coloured in. So how many have I coloured in to make it equal equivalent? One, two, three, four, five, six. So first of all, we found out that one fifth is equal to the same as equivalent to two tenths. Now we have found out that three fifths is the equivalent to the same as six tenths. Right, to finish off, I'm going to see if you can work out one more equivalent fraction. Three, two, one, pause. How did you get on? Let's colour in this one. And this one, I've now made them equivalent. Can we work out another fraction? Do you know what? I didn't need to rub it all out. I could have just rubbed out the numerators because my denominators haven't changed. I've still got fifths here and I've still got tenths. I've just coloured in a different amount. So let's have a look. This time, instead of three fifths, I coloured in an extra one. So we've got one, two, three, four fifths is equivalent to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tenths. So I can write that one over here too. We're we still gonna be able to see it, yeah. Four fifths is equivalent to the same as six tenths. I'm just wondering, what would we call it if I colored in that one and these last two tenths. It's all coloured in. What would we call that? You could write that as five out of five are coloured in. So five of your fifths are coloured in. But that's equal to this bar up here, which is our whole. So five fifths is the same as one whole. So this one, denominator hasn't changed, it's still 10 parts in total, but now all of them are coloured in. So you'd say 10 tenths, but again, you can see that's equal to the same as one whole. 
brilliant. Now, there's an activity for you to get going with on my files. All of the activities are looking at equivalent fractions. Good luck.